because this thing has been on our radar only for about uh, a few months since then. Things have gotten very, very interesting. According to astronomers, 3i Atlas has all kinds of surprises. We've only seen a handful of, of blurry shots that uh, look like a tail is kind of starting to form. Something has just happened in space that defies every rule we thought we understood. The mysterious interstellar object known as 3i Atlas, the third confirmed visitor from beyond our solar system, has changed its course. Let that sink in. In the vacuum of space, motion is supposed to be simple. No friction, no air, no turbulence. Every path can be written as an equation. Every movement reduced to gravity and momentum. A comet doesn't turn like a ship. An asteroid doesn't decide. Space doesn't allow that kind of freedom. But 3i Atlas just did. It didn't drift. It deviated, sharply, suddenly, and with precision. Enough that seasoned orbital dynamicists, people who live and breathe celestial mechanics, stopped mid-sentence and re-ran their models from scratch. What was supposed to be a harmless flyby, a quiet traveler slipping past the sun, has become an open question. And that question now points toward us. For the first time in human history, an interstellar object isn't just a curiosity. It might be inbound. The discovery wasn't cinematic. There were no alarms, no red lights flashing in observatories. It began as a quiet anomaly, a few mismatched digits in a spreadsheet, tiny position errors, what astronomers call residuals. Normally, they mean nothing, but these weren't random. They were all leaning the same way, frame after frame. The curve of its path was tightening when it should have been loosening. Something was exerting a force, small but consistent. At first, no one panicked. Someone said calibration drift. Someone else blamed a faulty CCD sensor. But when the data came in from Chile, then from Hawaii, and finally from South Africa, the story didn't break, it solidified. Each observatory confirmed. 3i Atlas had moved. When the orbital fit was recomputed, the solution snapped into a new configuration. Not smooth, not gradual. A corner, as if the object had flexed its trajectory like a muscle. And then, almost at the same time, Several high-energy instruments picked up a faint pulse, barely a blip, but it was there, a brief emission in the near-ultraviolet range, originating from the object's exact sky coordinates. Not a solar flare, not a cosmic ray, just a narrow burst, lasting less than two seconds. Then silence. After that, 3i Atlas was on a different path. Coincidence, maybe, but if not, the implications are staggering, because it would mean something, somehow changed its course. Every new simulation now puts Earth inside the potential intersection corridor, not at the bullseye, but close enough that the margins have vanished. And when something traveling tens of kilometers per second loses its predictability, distance stops being comfort. It becomes countdown. A few hundred meters of rock moving at interstellar velocity could release energy equal to millions of nuclear detonations. A kilometer-wide body, that's not a disaster, that's an extinction. And the unsettling truth is, no one really knows how big 3i Atlas is. Its brightness fluctuates too sharply for a clean estimate. Its light curve suggests complex rotation, maybe a binary pair, maybe a fractured body. Reflectivity puts it somewhere between a carbon-dark comet and a metallic asteroid, but even that's a guess. All we know is that it's larger than Aumuamua and far more active than Borisov, and that combination shouldn't exist. Uncertainty in astronomy is common, but this isn't the kind of uncertainty that inspires curiosity. It's the kind that keeps you awake at night. So how could this happen? There are four ways to tell this story, each one harder to believe than the last. First, it's a hyperactive comet. As sunlight heats its surface, buried ices explode outward, acting like miniature thrusters. We've seen this before. Jets twisting trajectories, nuclei splitting apart. But those effects are chaotic, messy, organic. 3i Atlas didn't drift like a leaf. It pivoted like an arrow. Outgassing explains turbulence, not precision. Second, gravity did it. Perhaps a hidden mass, a rogue planet, a black hole fragment tugging invisibly. But gravity curves gently. It paints arcs, not corners. And for such a sudden deflection, that mass would need to be enormous and close. Nothing like that has appeared in any sky survey, unless it's dark and waiting. Third, new physics. 
Maybe there's a force we haven't cataloged yet, a plasma interaction between interstellar material and magnetic fields, producing thrust-like coupling. If that's true, 3 I Atlas isn't a threat, it's a revelation. It means we've been missing part of the map of reality. It means nature, still, has secrets it refuses to surrender. And then there's the fourth explanation, the one whispered only in locked conference rooms or after too much coffee at 3 a.m. What if 3i Atlas was built, a probe disguised as stone, a vessel cloaked in comet dust, a relic that moves not by physics alone, but by intention, the course correction, the pulse of energy, the new trajectory, aligning eerily close to Earth's orbital plane. If that's true, then this isn't a coincidence. It's a rendezvous. Meanwhile, the world's observatories are scrambling. Nightly cadence has shifted. Telescopes that once mapped galaxies are now locked on a single speck of moving light. Radio arrays are listening for narrowband whispers across the spectrum. Polarimeters are studying how its dust scatters light. Because if that scattering pattern falls outside every known curve, that means its surface isn't just strange, it's engineered. Infrared spectrometers are on the hunt for chemical fingerprints. Carbon monoxide, water vapor, cyanides, organics, clues to whether this thing behaves like a comet or merely pretends to. And at every data center, computers are crunching thousands of what-if trajectories, each one a possible future, each one asking the same desperate question, where will it be and when? The clock is ticking. 3i Atlas has injected unpredictability into a system that depends entirely on predictability. And unpredictability costs the one resource humanity never has enough of time. Time to measure, time to prepare, time to understand, because if it changed once, it can change again. And the next pulse might come when we're blind, during solar conjunction, when the object slips behind the sun, invisible to telescopes and radar. By the time it emerges again, its path could be different, closer, faster, aimed. Some fear that its deviation wasn't random at all, that it was timed, calculated for when Earth's alignment made observation most difficult. If that's true, then this wasn't motion. It was strategy. It's worth remembering what its predecessors taught us. Amuamua, flat, dark, tumbling, accelerating without visible exhaust. Borisov ordinary, icy cometary, the reassuring exception. And now 3i Atlas, mathematically precise, energetically active and disobedient. Each one rewriting what we think we know about how the universe behaves. Maybe this is the real pattern, that our sky is a highway, not a void. And traffic comes from both directions. As it moves inward, 3i Atlas will pass through several key observational gates. First, parallax convergence, to tighten orbital uncertainty. Second, high cadence photometry, to analyze flicker and rotation rates for signs of modulation, perhaps even encoded structure. Third, thermal infrared mapping, to estimate actual size and composition, not just reflected brightness. And fourth, planetary radar, the holy grail. If we can bounce a signal off it and catch the echo, we'll know if it's porous rock or metal. If it's natural, we'll know soon enough. Its activity will correlate with sunlight. Its spectrum will show volatile gases. The math will balance. We'll publish papers, argue over details and move on wiser. But if it's not natural, the data won't line up. Maneuvers won't match heating cycles. Pulses will appear out of rhythm. The trajectory will refine itself, slicing closer to Earth's orbital plane. And somewhere in the light curve, a pattern will emerge. Too regular, too intentional, too human or too alien to ignore. There's one more possibility, the one that keeps even the most skeptical astronomers staring at their monitors long after midnight. What if 3i Atlas isn't alone anymore? If smaller bodies start trailing it, objects in perfect spacing, mirroring its path despite solar radiation pressure, then it's not debris, it's formation flight. And if that formation holds as it enters the inner solar system, then the word fleet will no longer be metaphor. It will be measurement. So where does that leave us tonight? With an object that broke the rules, with a planet that just entered the zone where those rules matter, and with a choice between panic and precision, because the real threat is an impact. It's ignorance. It's what happens when prediction fails, again and again. When the next shift occurs, 
while our telescopes are pointed the wrong way, when our best models lag reality by just enough to matter. There's courage in admitting we don't know, but there's danger in pretending that means we shouldn't act. So the question isn't just scientific anymore. It's philosophical. If something or someone can cross the gulf between stars, change course mid-flight, and aim toward a pale blue dot circling an average star, then we have to ask, why now? Why us? And how long have they been watching? Right now, 3i Atlas is tightening its threads with the inner solar system. Each night draws a sharper line between mystery and meaning. If it passes and proves natural, we will have learned humility. If it turns again and proves otherwise, we will have learned truth. And truth this time may not be comforting. No one expected this. Not the scientists, not the agencies, not us. But expecting and being ready are not the same thing. And ready or not, the sky just asked us a question. If 3i Atlas isn't alone anymore, are we? Stay with us. Because the next pulse, the next update, the next silent turn might not just change its path, it might change ours.